Hello friends, I am Aarti Gupta, Assistant Professor in Biani Girls B8 College welcomes you all. Today I am going to present a lecture on movement in plants. What is movement? Movement is change in position of an organism with respect to its surrounding. Although plants remain at fixed position, yet they show some movement in form of their growth. The movement of plant is due to response of some external stimuli like air, water, touch, light, etc. In plants, the two types of movements are tropic movement and nastic movement. First, we talk about tropic movement. What are tropic movements? These are directional movement means their direction is guided by the external stimuli. We can divide tropic movements into phototropism, zeotropism, hydrotropism, thigmotropism and chemotropism. First we take phototropism. Phototropism is the movement of plant part in response of light. Root shows negative phototropism while shoot shows positive phototropism. We can understand this phenomenon by an example. We will take a potted plant. And we put this potted plant near the window. Through this window, light comes from a single direction. After some time, we will observe that the shoot of the plant will bend towards the source of light. Why? Why this happens? This has happened due to phototropism. So, what is responsible for the phototropism? Oxygen, a hormone is responsible for the phototropism. Oxygen prefers to accumulate at the dark part of the plant. When light comes from the top of the plant, then all the plant part gets equal light. But when light comes from the single direction, then this oxygen, it gather at this portion and this portion shows more growth than the this portion. So, cause this portion, it to cause more growth and due to this more growth the shoot will bend towards the light. Now next is geotropism. Geotropism is the movement of plant part in response of gravity. Shoot shows negative geotropism while root shows positive geotropism. For example, when we have a potted plant and tilt it horizontally on the, on the ground, then after some time we will observe that shoot shows negative geotropism while its root shows positive geotropism. Now next is hydrotropism. Action. Next is hydrotropism. Hydrotropism is the movement of plant part in response of water. This hydrotropism is stronger than zeotropism. We can understand it by an example. We will take some germinated seed in a moisture dust and then we will put it into a sieve. After some days, we will observe that the radical will come out from the pores of the sieves. After some days, we will again observe that these radicals will again back move towards the sawdust. It shows that hydrotropism is stronger than zeotropism. Now next is thigmotropism. Thigmotropism is the movement of plant part in response of touch. The best example of thigmotropism is money plant. Like this is a stick and this is the stem of money plant. This the portion of touch of money plant with this stick it contains less oxygen and this portion will contain more oxygen so it will show more growth. Due to this this part will bend over the stick. Now next is chemotropism. Chemotropism is the movement of plant in response of chemical. The example of chemotropism is uh, grow movement of pollen tube towards the ovary. During the process of fertilization, pollen tube it moves towards the ovary due to a sugary substance secreted by the ovule.
Nestic movements are non-directional movements, means their direction of movement is not decided by any external stimuli. These nestic movements are seismonesty, apinesty and hyponesty. The best example of seismonesty is Mimosa pudica which is also known as touch me not plant. When we touch a um, touch me not plant then its leaves they come fall out. Why what happens? Because there is a structure pulvinus is present below the leaves. This pulvinus is tightly filled with water. It keeps the leaves upright. When we touch the leaves a current flow towards the pulvinus and water comes out. Due to this it loses its turgidity and the leaves fall down. After some time, after 15 to 20 minutes, the water again comes inside the pulvinus and leaf became upright. Now next is apinesty. In apinesty, the plant surface, upper surface grows more than the lower surface. Due to this, the reason, due to this, the plant part became downward. The example of apinesty is opening of the flower. Now next is hyponesty. In hyponesty, the lower surface it grows more than the upper surface. Due to this, plant part bends upward. The example of hyponesty is op closing the flower. So this is all about movements in plants.